Hello YouTube, uh, today I'm going to be showing you um, how, well, step one of my tutorials for X and A. So I'll just start off with, um, I'll just start off by showing you how to add text to your um, project and add um, images, well textures or whatever you want to call them. Right, I'm just going to make a project called YouTube, so okay. Might take a while because my computer is being slow at the moment for some reason. Well, it creates a template for you. What is all of this stuff? Right, we'll just get started. Right, for starters, we need to put. Um, we need, well, we'll start off with an image, so you need to go on to content. Add existing item. Uh, if you don't have uh, X and A for, I don't know how you do it, but you still add content. But I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I'm gonna get a ball that I've already made. Right. So first, I'll show you how to add um, a texture. What is my picture, image, sprite, whatever you wanna call it. Right. Right. So where it says um. At the top, it says public game class game one, uh, Microsoft dot X and A dot framework dot game. Underneath that is your sprite batch, uh, and then sprite batch. This is a a variable. So all we need to do is texture to texture two D two D, um, and then we'll call it my texture. Call on, and then we need um, need a vector for it. So vector two, we we'll just call that pos. So that's pos. So that's short. Right, and now we need to go into load content, and then it's well, it tells you here. It says create a new sprite batch, which can be used to draw textures. So here you put in my texture or whatever you call it then equals oh it, it is case sensitive so I need to get this right texture cut uh load no oh, content load content dot load and then like arrow things uh, I can't remember what they're called but, like arrow pointing to the word it shows you in the diagram thing here if you go back one sec dot load it shows you the arrows there so you need to put opening arrow and then you put texture 2d because that is what the texture is and then you put a bracket speech mark and then you put the name of your image or texture and then you close it off with a uh, speech mark and a closing bracket and then you put a semicolon um right, I didn't put capital in te my texture. Um Oh yeah, I just need to put capital T for that. So it's capital T my texture. Um, wait one second. I'll pause it whilst I uh, try and get it right. Cause I've put, I don't know what I've done wrong here. Sorry about this. One sec. I found out what it were. I just spelt texture wrong there. I didn't put a T in. Right. Next thing you need to put uh, for your position. You need to put pos or position or whatever you put for your vector to. And then equals new vector two because it's making a new vector and the normal's ten comma ten and then we need a semicolon after that. Right now you've done that you need to scroll down to the bottom and it says um the well the draw method. So here you get rid of that. You put sprite batch dot begin. Uh, 
and then you need uh, brackets because it is a, it's got it is a method and then you need to use sprite batch dot end and and bra uh, brackets right so now what's going on right, it's not capital B capital E it is very case sensitive but sometimes it corrects sometimes you have to do it yourself so I'm sorry if it, <coughs> it goes all funny because I haven't been on computer in a while so sprite batch dot draw and now you need your bracket and here it says you need your text texture to, uh, texture 2d what is um, your ball or well my ball my image and it says you need your rectangular distance or whatever but that's di that's the wrong one that's the one you want it's the second void texture 2d so your image and then your vector 2 that's your positioning in your screen and then your colour well obviously like your shading etc right so you put in my texture comma and then you put pos because that's your position and then colour I'm going to put it white so it, it is as my um, it gives it a white shading and then semicolon and then just run it and there you've got your first um, your first uh, sprite on your screen if you want to get your mouse so you can see it over the um, the form you need to go up here and it says graphics just under the public gameplay just go up and then is mouse visible space equal true if you don't want to be able to see it then just leave it out don't really matter because well it's up to you anyway so now you can see and look I'll put it at 10 and if you want it any other position on the screen you just can just change it there like that there um, right now I'll do the uh, text so I just uh, we'll do um, so string and we'll just say text for that call on um, vector2 we'll just have that as um, position call on right so there we go I'll just put spaces so it's easier to see so you got my texture and posi pos as your first two and then string is String is the um, ma is a, it's makes a text, if you know what I mean. But it's hard to describe. Well, I find it hard anyway. And then vector is your position on your screen. Yeah, right. So you need to go into your content, right click, add new item, sprite font, and it says sprite font one dot sprite font. So I just add, and you can see all this writing like font type, uh, size, spacing in between your letters and all the rest of it like style so you could have bold italic says it says it above it so you can't get mixed up that hard, mixed up that bad there so um, I think that's all that we need oh, what do we need um, one second I'll, I'll just find out because keep forgetting because I haven't done this in a while sorry about this uh, one sec alright we need to set a thing like we have for the texture we need to um, put in um, um, wait one sec one sec just let me have a look one sec alright sorry about that um, it's sprite font so sprite font we'll just have that as um, my font call on right so right so now you go down to your load content and then you have you put in um, you put sprite f 
font. Oh no, my font, sorry. My font. And it's basically the same. So you do content dot load and in there you put in whatever's here, so that's oh no, you put in sprite font, sorry. Sprite font. You do that and then in your brackets in your speech you put in sprite font one, so sprite font one and then finish it off. You don't need to put um dot sprite font on the end or dot png if it's a word so so, right. so now we need to do position equals new vector two we'll just put that as ten so you can see the difference ten um, and then here we need to do text so your text equals speech marks and then hello world and then semicolon or oh, semicolon for that as well right so we sorted that out so now we need to go down here and you press enter there you do sprite batch dot draw my font comma position comma text comma colour we'll have it as red dot red um Right font Hey just one sec I'll fix it for you just one sec. <coughs> Alright, I fixed it. It's a draw string there, so sprite batch dot draw string and then you put uh you need your sprite batch. What is your font? Uh, format so you sprite font one that's my font because you set it and then you need your text and your position and then your color so now I'll just show you this so run it and then you got it says hello world and you got your ball there uh, thanks for watching comment rate like subscribe uh, comment on ideas um, inbox if you need any help or comment if you need any help um, Thanks for watching. Uh, please watch my other video. Uh, see you later, guys. Bye.